Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. But not just an ordinary exponential equation, a complex exponential equation. We have i on the right hand side, so i is the imaginary unit whose square equals negative 1. And we have 2 to the power x on the left hand side. This looks simple, right? Sort of. Let's go ahead and ln both sides. ln both sides. ln being the natural logarithm. So if you ln both sides, you're going to get ln 2 to the power x equals ln i. The million dollar question is, what is ln i? So let's go ahead and explore that a little bit. So what is ln i? i is a complex number. It's ln is, is that going to be a complex number too? Let's find out. Okay, so thanks to Euler, one of the greatest mathematicians, in my opinion, the greatest mathematician, uh, we have e to the power i pi equals negative 1. That's a really, really beautiful identity. And now we can use this to find ln i. How? Let's go ahead and set the negative 1 equal to i squared. Remember at the beginning we defined i to be the imaginary unit whose square equals negative 1. And then we can just go ahead and write it this way. We have e to the power i pi equals i squared. Let's ln both sides. ln e to the power i pi equals ln i squared. Now let's go ahead and move the powers to the front by using po uh, properties of logs. This gives us i pi ln e, which is 1. i pi equals 2 ln i. Remember, we were looking for ln i, and we got it. From here, we can write ln i as i pi over 2, right? Okay, so that seems to be a complex number, or non-real complex number, I should say, ln i, because it has i in it. So we can also go ahead and do it a little differently to, to get to ln i. Remember, again, this is the original uh, identity by Euler, cosine alpha plus i sine alpha equals e to the power i alpha. Now, in this case, if you think about it, how could I write i in this form, right? It's, which is also called the polar form. Well, here's the idea. You have to think about the polar representation of i, and that's not a very good circle, anyways. That line is like weird. So if you think about it, this is 0 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. That's exact, exactly where you get the i, because i is 0 plus 1i, and it's basically represented by the point 0, 0,1, are the, on the coordinate system, right? So it's our argument, the angle, is going to be pi over 2, or 90 degrees, right? So this means I can be written as cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. But that can also be written as e to the power i pi over 2. This is the, the most beautiful part because now we can write i as e to the power i something, right? With a real base. Now, we can just go ahead and use this. How? Same way, we have this identity, ln both sides, and you're going to get ln i from here. Very easy, right? So go ahead and move that to the front, and you're going to get ln i equals i times pi over 2. Of course, pi is uh, 3.14 something. This is in radians. You divide, by, divide it by 2, multiply by i, and you're going to get the ln i value. Now, let's go ahead and solve the equation, though. Let's, uh, what, it, what was the original problem? It was 2 to the power x equals i, and then from here we ln both sides to ln 2 to the x equals ln i, and then we moved the x to the front, and we got x ln 2 equals ln i, and dividing both sides by ln 2, we're going to get ln i over ln 2. But since ln i can be written like this, we can go ahead and replace it, and from here x is going to become i pi over 2 times ln 2. You can also write the 2 times ln 2 as ln 4 if you want, but that's not necessary. But this is approximately 2.27i. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.